Good morning. I'm on site here at Electronica 2022 and joining me today is Ben, the Director of Product Management at Little Fuse and Jerome, the Marketing or Market Industry Manager for Automotive at CMK. So thank you both for joining me. Thank um, you, thank you. Now, I understand that Little Fuse acquired CMK earlier this year, so we're going to be talking a little bit about that. Um, we're also going to do a deep dive into switches for automotive applications. But before we get started, can you just tell me a little bit about Little Fuse and CNK as companies and what their overall mission is? Sure. Perhaps, uh, ben, we'll start, we'll start yeah. with you. Yeah, sure. So um, as you know, Little Fuse is an industrial technology manufacturing company yeah. empowering a safer, connected, and uh, sustain sustainable world. Mm -hmm. So across uh, you know more than 15 countries and uh, with a global associate more than 17,000 so we partner with customers, you know, in design and uh, deliver innovative and uh, reliable solutions. So Little Fuse was found in was founded in 1927, mm -hmm. uh, with headquarters in Ch Chicago, Illinois, uh, United States. Uh, that's for Little Fuse. And as for CNK, like uh, you know, the team has mentioned before, you know, it's a leading designer and a manufacturer for yep. high performance yep. switches. And uh, CNK products, including uh, tactile, rocker, you know, toggle, uh, are assembled in more than 55,000, you know, standard products, and also 8.5 million, uh, you know, switch combinations. So CNK actually is a well-recognized, uh, you know, brand, uh, well-trusted brand in the, uh, yep, you yep. know, EMAC uh, industry. Mm -hmm. So that's about CNK and the little fuse. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, I was going to ask. Um, you know what CNK has brought to Little Fuse, but it sounds like quite a lot. <laughs> yes, exactly. So CNK brings to Little Fuse many things, uh, including the expanded uh, product portfolio. Yeah. You know, uh, technology leadership in high precision, uh, high speed manufacturing. You know, miniaturization and uh, haptics, uh, together with uh, expanded uh, operational footprint, mm -hmm. uh, including operation uh, sites in in Doha, France, uh, Vietnam, and uh, India. Fantastic. So, yeah. So how exactly does CNK fit into the Little Fuse strategy? Yeah, that, that's a good question. So uh, I have been with Little Fuse uh, more than 15 years. So I've seen many different acquisitions. Uh, acquisition actually is an important part of Little Fuse uh, growth strategy. So the addition of CNK uh, brings to Little Fuse uh, expanded uh, product portfolio. Yeah. And like we just mentioned, and uh, also the technology leadership uh, in High precision, high speed manufacturing, just talk about. So, those actually uh, serve as a platform for future growth. And uh, also, the, um, how you say, uh, complement, complementary go to market model, uh, which will continue to strengthen our partnership with our mm -hmm. distribution channels, like DGT, for yeah. example. So, yeah, so we are excited about this, this acquisition. Fantastic. And yeah. what particular benefits do you feel it brings to your customers? Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, customers will benefit from uh, the brightness of uh, Little Fuel's expanded portfolio, uh, which provides, uh, you know, differentiated and, uh, you know, uh, uh, enhanced uh, solutions. And also the, the added, uh, you know, technology, uh, uh, you know, can also further uh, boost a little fuel uh, in the future growth. Yeah. You know, we will continue to invest uh, in new product and new technology uh, development, um, bringing the market the world class products and uh, solutions. Fantastic. And and as you've you've mentioned, um, you know, together little fuse and CNK make a stronger team um, to the ever evolving needs of your customers. So, what are you seeing those evolving needs being? Yeah, that's another greater question. So. Uh, in order to answer that, maybe let's take one step back to revisit our purpose as a company. Yeah. So um, our purpose is really to uh, improve the reliability, safety, and uh, performance of our customers' uh, products uh, using energy, uh, electrical energy. So uh, with that, this customer evolving needs actually well align with our mission, uh, which is to um, work with customer to sus uh, sustainably create a product uh, that uh, protect, uh, sense, and control for a safer, a greener, and uh, more connected world. Mm, Hope I answer your question. Yeah, fantastic, thank you. And um, Jerome, I suppose a question more aimed at you, um, but both of you feel free to answer. 
Can you tell us a little bit about CNK's offering in the automotive space? Because I understand that you offer the largest and deepest product range in the industry. Yeah, absolutely. And as Ben mentioned, we, we offer a wide variety of, of part numbers and variations to that. Um, why the largest and the deepest? Well, we offer everything from tactile to tech switches, rockers, powers, uh, detection, um, everything that will serve uh, the segments that we are focusing on, uh, like the vehicle access systems, like the seating, like the interface. Yeah. And I would say the whole story of CNK with, with the automotive started with the interfaces. And a big part of that being, being the tactile switches, um, we developed a lot of catalog versions, went through customization uh, for these. But yeah, we can, we can offer almost all the solutions for the interface, um, for, the, for the cockpit and for, for the openings. And as well as within those offering different type of variations to be adapted for, for the final customer. Excellent. That sounds fantastic. And the automotive industry, as we all know, is going through sort of a disruptive period at the moment. So how exactly do you both see the industry evolving and what new demands are you seeing coming from the sector? Well, yeah, it, it's definitely a, a disruptive period for the automotive. <laughs> a lot of changes yeah. for everybody. Um, there's, I think the biggest change is definitely in the interior with the, with the electric vehicles. Um, everything needs to look neat yeah. and electric, yes. right? <laughs> um, we're talking about the so-called shy technology. Uh, the, the car makers wants to have the technology hidden until it's been used. Right. Um, and, and this is driven through the tier ones, through the different uh, uh, solutions that can be, uh, uh, that can be brought by, by the whole industry. Um, automotive is also going through brand recognition problems with the newcomers. Yeah. I know how BMW will react to a Tesla or to Canoe or to all these these, these newcomers. Um, there's also a drive towards the fully autonomous vehicle. Yeah. Would you buy a BMW or just call a car for your own need that you don't own anymore? True. So the whole thing is, with this, the customer experience is also changing from the car makers to the content makers. Yeah. Because you're driving a car with Google or with Apple or with something else. Mm -hmm. And and all this is, is really, really changing. So how do we, you know, adapt to that is taking the advantage of our knowledge within the electronic mechanics and combining that with different other technologies to be able to answer to that giant technology interface. Yeah. How do we do that? Um, there are a lot of different solutions for it, um, but yeah, it's it's a very interesting time. Uh, we're exploring a lot of things yeah. from from the electronic mechanics, from active haptics, from capacitive illumination, whatever you name it. Um, this is very interesting times. Yeah. No final choice yet. Yeah. Um, I guess everybody's trying different angles, different things. Yeah. As we can all experience in cars, <laughs> sometimes it is weird. Uh, sometimes it works. Um, so yeah, very interesting times. Yeah. So the, uh, just to add to what Jerome just mentioned, the other technology he was talking about, lots of those we can find from Little Fuse portfolio. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's an exci exciting combination. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. I mean, you've almost got to be one step ahead of the industry, almost you know predicting what people are going to need. You know, you mentioned autonomous vehicles. That's definitely going to happen at some point, but we're not quite there yet, are we? No. No, we're oh, yeah. not there yet, but, but the, the trend the, the trend is there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, whatever. And, and it's going to go through steps. And, and, and that's the reason why we, while this world is changing, we're focusing really on the seats, the seating. Right. Um, we've seen seats now with, with it's not only the power, um, the, the, the position of the seat, but it's ventilation, it's heating, it's music, yeah. it's you name it, yeah. right? Um, Vehicle access system, it has changed. Uh, you can now use your phone, but you still need the door handle somewhere sometimes. Um, so we're, we're really getting to that with, with self-diagnosis solutions. Um, interface, combination of also of new technologies, capacitive, magnetic, um, force sensing, 
different things. TV charging also comes into play. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were not used to being in the uh, engine compartments with, with switches, but now for the charging, either for the plug or for the system, the, uh, the OBC or the HVIL mm -hmm. uh, covering system. We're, and it's a good combination with the fuse because we're, we're, we're also getting those the same applications, yeah. but at a different level from yeah. the electronics to the interface. Uh, but it's really a good combination and good focus for, for, for both companies. Yeah, definitely. As we, as we see it today. But yeah, very interesting time, very exciting in terms of what what we can propose in the Greenberg. Yeah, Correct. definitely. Yeah. And I understand that you also offer customization services. So can you tell us a little bit about what that involves? Yeah, uh, CMK has always been recognized for its ability to offer different solutions than the catalogs. Um, Again, it started and it's it's focused on, on the tactile and key switches. Uh, the biggest customization outside of the fours and, and a few options like the levers and everything. Uh, from a standard component, um, we can offer some variations over the haptics and the sound. It became more and more important in the automotive. Um, for the car makers after working on the sound of the engine, the sound of the door closing and opening, the interior. And it's, it's a very human thing when you enter the car in the dealership. The first thing you do is play with the buttons. Yeah. yeah. It's more a manly thing, but, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. But it's, so those buttons need to sound the same. Yeah. And whether it's a high click or a low click, uh, it has its importance. And it's even more important now today with the silence of the electric vehicles. Yeah, that's true. So... Um, we are specialized in that. We can offer different solutions and make for different uh, products for that. Mm. We have the capacity to measure also those sounds uh, with semi anechoic chambers at a switch level or at the module level and, and work with, with our team on uh, around that. So from a standard component to what we call value add solutions where you add a bracket, a, you know, wires, connectors, to a full module if, if it's required by, by our customers. Mm -hmm. um, that would include decoration, illumination, like like a, um, a start-stop button, um, like um, um, window window lifter modules. Right. It's a discussion with with our customers. To what level do they want us involved? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and we can offer the either it's on the print or or the design is is by ourselves. We offer a wide variety, already from standard components to final solutions to, 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 to our customers. Fantastic. So given everything that we've spoken about then, in both of your opinions, why do you feel that Little Fuse is, is the partner for automotive solutions? Well, as I said, um, there, there are a lot of already um, products from Little Fuse in the automotive um, and we're focusing a lot on the mobility mm -hmm. um, and the charging and the, the electrical vehicles. Um, and, and it's it's really a good company that said uh, um, the little fuse products will be more on on the uh, on the PCBs when we, we, we are in the interface, but it's the same system. Yeah. Um, typically, if we're talking about the onboard chargers um, or the the high voltage uh, limiters, uh, okay, uh, there's a need for fuse and diodes and, and, and other protection devices, and there's also a need for detection of opening of these systems, and that's where we have the offer. Yeah. So we are totally complementary in, in, in those offerings for those, for those applications. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, to add to that, um, so Littlefuse has, has a dedicated uh, immobility team focusing on XEV, yeah. uh, you know, immobilities. Um, so we are focusing on electrical and the electronification of uh, of vehicle. So me myself, I was part of that immobility team before I joined the CNK. Yeah. So um, like uh, Jerome mentioned, you know, from both sides product-wise, we have a much broader product offering together. And uh, also, you know, uh, the customer uh, reach, customer relationship that uh, both parties bring in the table is uh, enormous. And uh, yeah, so, you know, and uh, together, like uh, we just also mentioned that the complementary go-to-market strategy will really uh, strengthening our relationship with uh, distribution partners as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it certainly sounds like a perfect partnership. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you for taking the time to join me today and tell us about it. Thank you. Thank for you. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank, thank you. 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 Yeah.